Hello, my most amazing artists. Today, we're going to do a fall inspired lesson that is all about pumpkins. We are going to be creating our very own pumpkins today because pumpkins remind me of fall, of not only Halloween, but also kind of about Thanksgiving. So, first, we are going to start. By writing our name on our paper, and we will also write our teacher's name on our page. Once we are done writing both our name and our teacher's name, we'll flip our paper over so those names are on the back. Then we are going to start by drawing right away with Sharpie marker. We are going to measure three or four fingers from the top of your page and make a dot in the middle of your paper. Then we're going to go down from that dot and make another dot at the very end. Then we're going to draw a curve from the first dot to the second on each side. After we draw those curves, we're going to draw another one and another one to keep growing our pumpkin bigger and bigger. Your pumpkin should almost touch the edges of your page. Make them super duper big. Then we are going to draw our stem. To draw a pumpkin stem, I start with a curve at the top of the pumpkin then I add another curve next to it. Then I close the curves with a straight line on top. Next, you are going to get out your crayons. We are going to be using crayons to add some color to our pumpkins. So you should start with the stem. I like to draw just a few curvy lines on my stem. We're not coloring it in completely. We're leaving some space if we would like. Then we are going to be coloring around the lines of the pumpkin. So on each side of every line, there should be some color there. What that means is that you're going to use your crayons on each side following your Sharpie lines. This is going to add an, an extra pop of color to our pumpkins to make them look really exciting. Once we're finished adding those pops of color to our pumpkin lines, we're going to take our brush and our orange liquid watercolor paint. We'll take the lid off if it's not already off. If you need help with that, let me know. And then we are going to paint right over all of the inside of our pumpkin. It is okay if you accidentally go outside of your pumpkin because we are going to be cutting these out later and adding them to a background. Please make sure that you spread that paint like P, B, and J on a peanut butter jelly sandwich. We do not want any big puddles of paint, so you have to spread it out. Then, boys and girls, you are going to leave your paintbrush in the cup 
so that I can rinse them off later on. This is what the background is going to look like. We are going to make this background next time in art class.